Hello everybody <clears throat> and welcome to that new video. Uh, today I wanna, um, I wanna try to solve a very specific problem uh, that arises when you um, uh, construct a model that it, that it is based on um, a series of random numbers uh, generated by the RAM function. Uh, that kind of, uh, uh, of model takes advantage of the uh, Monte Carlo method to evaluate some uh, stochastic variable. Uh, but uh, maybe some other day uh, we will uh, talk about in a much more deep way about the Monte Carlo method. But uh, today, the main focus is to uh, try to uh, freeze uh, the random numbers that are generated in your simulation. Uh, so here we have uh, some fake parameters. And uh, uh, if we change those parameters, every time we hit enter, Excel calculates, recalculates every single random formula that is inside the spreadsheet. Uh, that could be a problem because uh, we want to examine how, the, how our simulation behaves when we change the parameters without worrying about uh, the uh, continuous recalculation uh, about, uh, from, from Excel. Uh, we can uh, try to solve that problem in many ways. For example, we can uh, copy and paste uh, the random numbers generated by the RAND function. Uh, we can do uh, the same action with uh, some uh, VBA code but uh, you have to know how to program some, some uh, how to program the VBA in VBA to uh, to realize that kind of action uh, with the code. But uh, I want I want I want to suggest uh, another method that takes advantage of of an obscure. Uh, feature of the data of uh, the Excel data table. Uh, the first thing that we uh, have to do is to uh, go into the file options formulas and here in the Excel options in the calculation options we check automatic except for data tables. Here uh, is our trick. We uh, click OK and then we set up our nice data table. Uh, I'm assuming here that you know what a data table is and how to set up uh, data table uh, in a, a simple data table like this one. We uh, select our table uh, and then we go into the data tab. We select the what if analysis menu and then data table. Here uh, we, uh, we, we, we put our cursor inside the column input cell and then we select uh, the cell. Uh, that we have pointed when we have created the reference for the data table. And then we click OK. Notice that all the, uh, the values inside our uh, new created data table are zeros because uh, Excel uh, does not recalculate automatically the values inside the data table with uh, uh, after we have checked the, the option inside the option menu. To, uh, to, to make Excel calculates those value, we have to press uh, F9 
in which uh, and in that way Excel calculates our uh, random numbers. Now when we change the parameters of our model you can see that uh, the values inside the data table are freezed and uh, in that way you uh, you you can uh, uh, change the parameters of our mod of, of your model without worrying about the uh, continuous recalculation uh, from Excel. Uh, I hope that uh, this little video has been useful for you and I also hope to see you in the next video.